This lecture guides you through how to use PickMonkey.com. So go to PickMonkey.com. What we're going to do is we're going to start uh, with some basic tools. So I'm going to hit edit a photo. Okay. And we're going to load the applet. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open from my computer. So we're, base, we're basing this on the assumption that you've already saved two, full, two files, one of you in a group of people and the other one in an individual photo of you. All right, so I'm going to pick a couple that are on my desktop. So I'm going to do that one first. So the individual photos first. All right, choose an image setting, Jack, Bubbles, King Kong. So the idea is these are really sizing, so how large the image is going to be. Since we're dealing with kind of like a web-based um, activity, because you're going to actually put these onto your blog after, in the next piece to the assignment, we can probably get away with Bubbles, um, which happened to be Michael Jackson's uh, monkey friend, I think. and. I'm just going to hit save there. All right, so we've got this. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you some of the basic tools first. So if I wanted to crop it down, if I hit crop there, you see we get a grid. So I can crop it. So if I want to bring it in a little tighter and lose some of the tie, I can. We can also change um, the proportions. So I'm going to hit apply, see that it does that. If I need to rotate something, so if you get a photo that's on its side and you want to rotate it out, you can rotate it that way. If I want to switch left to right, right to left, you see my earrings on my left side, now it's on my right side. Flip me on the head, that's fine too. Okay, let's say I'm unhappy with the fact that I'm tilted a little bit to the left hand side. I can straighten the photo, which would be the other direction. I can straighten the photo. So it straightens up a little bit, looks less tippy. Then hit apply. If I go over to exposure, so let's say I think this is too dark. I can bleach it out a little bit until I look like I'm a negative. Okay, so I can find a happy medium there. You notice that it works on a range from zero out in both directions, a negative and a positive. Okay. No. Highlights, if I do that, it should bring out kind of natural highlights. Kind of ups a little bit the shadowing effect. Shadows, so I can create, and let's try that one again. Create more shadowing or less shadowing. And contrast, if I bring it down or bring it up. So up will create more until we get to, like, again, photo negative at that point super saturated and a little bit more, a little bit more. And then I'll hit apply. So that's how we retouch. Um, sharpening actually causes a certain graininess. I'll drag it all the way up so you guys can see. Um, it creates a grain to it. Come on. So it should. There you go. There's the graininess that I'm looking for. Okay, so you see every freckle on my head at that point, which probably is not a good thing. It goes a little cartoony. It's less, less of a Gaussian blur to it. Uh, resize, of course, if I need to change the size of the actual image. So that's dimensions, right? Um, we can also scale it down. So it's 100% now. I can scale it down to 50% um, to what it is. I'm going to leave it at 100% because... The larger the image, actually, the better off we are because if you stretch it out, it can become pixel. All right, so that's your basic uh, adjust settings. If I go over to this magic wand tool, um, this is a whole bunch of filters. I'm actually going to show you guys this one with the group photo, so I'm not going to worry about that one right now. If we need to do a little retouch, so touch up. So if, let's say I wanted to f you know, get rid of some of the blemishes. So... Change the brush size. So let's say Dr. Ellis does not like the freckles on his head. I should be able to kind of create a blurring effect. 
as I click on them. Okay, I happen to have something on the side of my nose. Kind of blurs it out, it, it creates a smudge effect. Um, I can, sure, why not? If it has a, a, a crown on top of it, it means that that's a paid uh, feature. So we're just gonna stay away from the paid features. I will show you though, just, you know, just out of curiosity, what it's gonna look like. So if I remove the wrinkles, the crow's feet, see, I can just knock those uh, chads out. Again, it's a blur effect. So if I wanna do the whole thing, I should probably work in that kind of motion there. Reduce some of those fine lines without retinol. That and yeah, I look like I'm 12 again. Not really. It's like I've had some bad, bad plastic surgery. All right, I'm gonna again not keep that one because it's a paid. Um, you can add blush if you want to blush. You can whiten your teeth if you want to. It's too large of a brush. Again, you want a brush size. It isn't gonna go over. Uh, the lips, so uh, you know, if I want to create some white vampire teeth, then I can. Super wide. Okay. Uh, lip tint, let's say I'm unhappy. I can go over with a little lip tint and make myself incredibly orangey for some reason. No, I won't do that. Okay, et cetera, you get the idea, so you can play with those. If you wanted to add text on top, I'm not a big fan of text over top of pictures for labeling. You can if you want to put like a watermark or something on that. So basically you just had add text and drag the text box. I'll just do it so you can see it. Drag the text box around. Again, not a big fan, so I'm leaving it. Um, you can also add on overlays, so you know, if you're feeling like you're in a really edge of junk kind of mood and you want to put the little heart on your forehead, broken heart on your forehead, you can. It needs to go away. Um, again, I mean, there's a lot of stuff on here. If you want to mess around with it just because it's entertaining, you can mess around with it just because it's entertaining. Okay. <clears throat> But you get the idea, you can actually create structure on top of, that one's much better, I like that one much better, on top of the pictures. Um, at that point, again, since this, yeah, I'm requiring you to have a couple of features on here. This creates um, a frame. This feature here creates a frame around the image. So you can test those out. What I'm requiring you to do for this assignment is actually a Polaroid, just so I can identify it really easily. So we'll put the Polaroid on there. You can, of course, change the background color if you wanted to, to match whatever design you're going to put on your, uh, on your blog, so you can kind of keep the, the color palette the same. It's hideous. <clears throat> It's still hideous, or or have no background whatsoever, and then I'll hit apply there because that is the indeed the effect. I'm gonna hit save. At that point, it gives me a choice of what type of file format. So I'm gonna choose JPEG, JPG. Again, you if we talk about sizing, I mean you can do Roger, which is a reference to all the James Bonds, not all, but some. So Roger Moore, Pierce Brosnan, and Sean Connery. Um, this is probably dimensionally good enough the way it is. So I'll hit save to my computer. I'm going to save it on my desktop and I'm going to do Polaroid for that one labeling and hit save. Okay, so that one's saved. It should be on my desktop now. So if I go to my desktop through the million things that I have open at the moment, including my email, um, I should have it on my desktop. right there. If I open up my default uh, browser viewer, uh, there I am in all my glory with my waxed mustache. 